Hi there, this is Mr. Abdurazak, and the topic for this video is properties and classes of materials. This is going to be the first part of a three part series I'm going to be making on this topic. This first part is going to be talking about wood and metal, the second part is going to be talking about ceramics and glass, the third part is going to be talking about plastics and rubber. Okay, now in one of my previous videos, I talked about technology and I said that technology is the art of making things out of materials. Now we fashion out these products of technology using five basic materials found naturally on head and they are wood, metal, ceramics and glass, plastics and rubber. And the reason why we have to understand the properties of this in order to fully comprehend the reason for their use. Now what is wood? Wood is a hard fibrous material gotten from trees and can be used as timber or fuel. Yeah, you heard me right, fuel. Now, I love wood thinking, ah, we don't use uh, uh, wood as a uh, fuel. How, how? Do we, do we cut it into small, small pieces and points and my daddy's car to work? No. A fuel is anything that gives energy. Okay, so when you're using your wood as firewood to cook that your party jollof rice, that your correct party jollof rice, yeah, you're using it as a fuel. Okay, now any other use of wood besides burning it is you using it as timber. Okay, now what differentiates wood from other materials? What makes it unique? What makes it different? The first is the color. Wood has a different color from most of the other materials and has a beautiful texture when you feel it in your hand especially when it is already planned uh, you ha it has a very um it, it, depending on the size of the wood wood can tend to be very heavy uh, it's a very poor conductor of heat it doesn't get attracted to magnets okay and woods are poor conductors okay when they are dry but when they are wet they are fairly good conductors if you've seen a polished wood before an example is there for you uh, you can see it there it looks very beautiful and then wood burns easily it is combustible it's very flammable now there are two classes of wood you have the hardwood which are called deciduous wood and you have the soft wood which are called coniferous wood apart from that uh, another difference is the kind of leaves they have for the coniferous wood they have small needle like leaves while for the deciduous wood they have the broad flat leaves as you can see in this picture uh, it, another basic difference is that hardwood are mostly heavy in weight not soft wood are mostly light in weight the key word there mostly why am I saying mostly? It's because there are some hard wood like balsa wood that are light. In fact, balsa wood is one of the lightest wood there is. Okay. Then there's also the pitch pine, which is a soft wood, but it is one of the heaviest wood there is. So, ends the word mostly. Okay. Apart from that, uh, hard wood shed their leaves during the dry season, while soft wood do not shed their leaves during dry season. Uh, hardwood have their seeds enclosed while soft woods bear naked seeds which are called cones. Hardwood grows in temperate and tropical climate like in Africa here, in India, Europe and the USA. While soft wood grows mostly in the cold region in countries like Europe, New Zealand, uh, Japan, Canada and uh, the likes. Examples of hardwood, you have your oak, you have your iroko, you have your balsa, like I said earlier, you have your teak, you have your mansonia, your maogani, and so on and so forth. Uh, you also have uh, examples of soft wood as your spruce, your cedar, your pine, your fir, uh, your juniper, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Now, we move to metals. Metals are opaque, lustrous materials that are good conductors of heat and electricity okay and metal occurs naturally in rocks and these rocks that contain metals are called iron ore you can see an example of um, an iron ore uh, very close to uh, in this uh, slide 
okay uh, metals are classified into two you have the ferrous metal and you have the non-ferrous metal what differentiates them the first thing you need to know is differences in the name ferrous metal non-ferrous metal iron is called ferrum that's the latin name ferrum hence the word ferrous so ferrous metals are metals that contain iron while non-ferrous metals are those that do not contain iron another example um, another difference is that uh, ferrous metals are attracted to magnets because of the presence of iron okay while non-ferrous metals do not get attracted to magnets because they don't have iron in them okay so examples of ferrous metals are cast iron wrought iron and steel and examples of non-ferrous metals are aluminium zinc tin and copper now the properties of metal the things that make them different from other materials the first is the density metals are usually heavy then the color metals have their own unique color luster metals shine when polished yes malleability which is the ability of metals to be beaten into any shape when it is hot conductivity metals are good conductors of heat and electricity uh, i think you all we all know by now that it's a bad idea to um, to put any metal object into an electrical source except if that person wants to get fried okay uh, apart from that i uh, know we've all made that mistake before it has happened to me severally while cooking you forget your metal spoon inside your pot and um by the time you come back you ignorantly touch it it burns your hand yes it's because metals conduct it very well okay ductility is the ability of metal to be stretched into thin strands just like you find in your wire okay uh, then uh, uh, brittleness is the ability of metal to crack suddenly under heavy blow then fusibility is the ability of metals to melt when it is heated okay then toughness is the ability of metals to resist uh, stretching bending and breaking then the magnetic property of course uh, metals are attracted to magnets but not all metals like we already know uh, ferrous metals are the ones that are attracted to magnets but non-ferrous metals are not attracted to magnets then also the sound test metals have a unique sound when you eat it with another object okay now there are different forms of metal depending on what you want to use it for the first is the round form, the second is the tube form, the third is the rectangular form, the third is the plate form, channel form, strip form, and wire form. Now, in this video, we've been able to talk about wood, we've told you the classes of wood or types of wood, we've told you the differences between the two classes of wood, we've told you about metals, uh, we've told you about the two types of metals there is, we've told you the differences between the two of them, and we've talked about forms of metal now your assignment is going to be to give at least three differences between wood and metal second is why is the study of the properties of materials important in technology and the third is for you to list at least three differences between the software and hardwood piece of cake right then uh, the fourth one is to give two differences between ferrous and non-ferrous metals uh, thank you so much for listening uh watch out for the next video on ceramics and glass god bless you Bye.